The hot suba show has come and gone, and we saw a lot of really solid sumo this month. This video is where I will be showing you my top 10 favorite matches of the Hatsuba Show from the top division. Number 10 is a really good Yotsuzumo match between the injured whole Shoryu and the challenging Ryu Den. Whole Shoryu with a nice charge, Ryu Den with a nice catch. Exchanging good grips on each other, but Ryu Den lost the inside left for just a moment. Nice Yotsu both ways, but Ryu Den. Doesn't have both layers of the belt. Has the grip around the knot. Tried the leg kick. Whole shoulder you, it didn't work. Going for the throws. Ryu Den off balance. Whole shoulder you recovers. Getting pulled. Now they're doing the tango as Whole shoulder you tries to dig that arm deeper inside. Ryu Den standing. Whole shoulder you up. Turning Whole shoulder you to the side. Whole shoulder you putting that le leg forward to try to block it. There he goes for another trip, but it's not going to work again. Still iron grips on that belt from Ryu Den and Whole shoulder you. Whole shoulder you in an awkward spot at the back, at the edge, out of the ring. Insanely good Yotsuzumo from both men, but Ryu Den will come out on top, seven and five. Number nine features big slaps from our favorite Bulgarian, Big Dan Aoyama. Aoyama with a good charge, Oho meeting him head to head, good thrusts, Aoyama can't get the slap down but he survives at the edge, now he's on the second push forward, Oho just taking all that punishment, now Aoyama going for a slap down again, doesn't work, dancing around the edge of the ring, another big slap from Aoyama for the win, 5-0 and oh for Big Dan. Number 8 is a fantastic Oshi vs. Oshizumo matchup in Tamawashi vs. Daesho. Daesho with a big charge, Tamawashi manhandling him, but Daesho fighting through it. Daesho getting deflected now, Tamawashi trying to keep him at bay, but now Daesho takes a step back, recharge, Tamawashi keeps his footing, stays in the ring, gets the win, and, you know, gives that guy in the audience a really big hug to celebrate. Tamawashi returns at number 7 because he turns off the gravity and tries to win at the very edge against Kiribayama. Everyone has a plan until they get hit in the face. And here you go. Here we go! Kiribayama to Tamawashi. It is a charge goes to Tamawashi pushing Kiribayama back. But Kiribayama fighting, pushing Tamawashi to the corner. Tamawashi holding his ground. But... Oh! I think he left though. I think he left, right? I think his foot might have slid out. But Tamawashi's it's foot his left, right? Ah. Uh, that should be a... Oh my goodness! No! <laughs> oh my goodness! Foot, no, he does lose. He does lose. He does lose. He, he does, does, lose. does step out. Oh. That's incredible. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's crazy. <laughs> Number six is another classic Yotsuzumo matchup featuring two underrated veterans of the ring. No, at work. Chiyoshoma Azumaru. Azumaru taking the charge. Big death grip to the throat by Chiyoshoma, but it doesn't work. Now he is on the push forward. Azumaru trying to get some slaps to the head. That doesn't work either. Chiyoshoma trying to fight him away by stepping back with some good slaps to the face. The leg trip, it doesn't work. Azumaru might have grabbed the hair there, but let go. Didn't really do anything as they slow it back down, trying to grab each other's hands. Azumaru and Chiyoshoma at an arm's length at Chiyoshoma's discretion. Azumaru slapping the side. Whoa, headbutting each other right there. Chiyoshoma trying to dive for the belt now. He does get grabbed. Outside right, Azumaru going for the throw, trying to plant him to the ground, trying to trip him too. None of that works. Chiyoshoma defending against all of that. Azumaru slows it down. Chiyoshoma tries the trip. It doesn't work. Azumaru pushing forward. Has him at the edge. Turned around. Chiyoshoma recovers and recharges. Azumaru could not finish him off. Azumaru slowing it back down as Chiyoshoma leans on his chest. Both of these guys are looking gassed right now, but this is a match between two veterans of the ring. Azumaru trying to get the grip inside, left, locked in. Chiyoshoma going for a throw over the leg, but Chiyoshoma's the one to get thrown. The two Komusubi, Meisei and Waka Motoharu, put on a show for us in this round one of two at number five. Up 
Wakamoto Haru getting the catch. Meisei attempting to throw right off the Tachi eye, but now he's trying to push forward chest to chest. Wakamoto Haru making him lose the grip on the inside left as he gains the outside right for himself, pushing forward. Meisei attempting to throw, not going to work. Wakamoto Haru wiggling forward, but Meisei trying to stop it. Now they're stalemated a little bit, and this is some good Yotsuzumo right here. Meisei still trying to wrench Wakamoto Haru as his back to the edge. Wakamoto Haru surviving the best he can, getting away from the Tawada. Now it's his turn to turn Meisei around. Meisei slowing it back down, inching back towards the middle, right back to where they started over those white lines. Meisei looking like he's struggling there as they are interlocked in each other. Inside left, outside rights being exchanged. And this is a classic Yotsu battle. Meisei attempting the move right here, lifting up Wakamoto Haru, but Wakamoto Haru getting the throw at the edge. Wakamoto Haru wins the Tori Naoshi, by the way. It, it wasn't very impressive, that's why it's not in the top 10 list. <laughs> Number four is fan favorite Midori Fuji pulling out a very rare Kimarite in the Uchi Muso. Midori Fuji getting caught and Miyogiri a little reckless in that assault. Now he has the double outside trying the Morozashi double inside for Midori Fuji, but it's an awkward spot right now. I think Miyogiri might have the advantage that inside right blocking Midori Fuji's inside left. Midori Fuji trying to find a way in, trying to go for a throw with that inside right on the belt. Not really going to work right there. Miyogiri trying to block that inside left from Midori Fuji. Midori Fuji, what a move! What was that? What in the world was that pull? Koto Shoho really showed up this tournament, and in this number three match, he perfectly counters everything Uda throws at him. Koto Shoho? Goes slow again, grabs Uda, now he's trying to slap the face, a lot of great slaps, Uda putting up no defense at all, Koto Shoho in full control, pushing forward, but now Uda gets a grab on the arm, loses it, gets low, leg pick, lifting up and tossed down, Koto Shoho putting on a show, what a win. Number two is once again Midori Fuji facing off against the Golden Boy in an incredible technical match. Oshoryu getting a strong charge but unable to grab the belt. Morozashi grip. Mo Midori Fuji pulling back now as Hoshoryu tries to get the double grip around the right inside arm. Arm breaker hold pushing forward has him on the ropes but recovering from the Tawara hole showed you couldn't finish him off Midori Fuji getting lifted up by that arm trying to get the right arm inside his hole showed you trying to push back but Midori Fuji blocking it tries to regain the double inside can't get it throwing at the edge called in favor of Midori Fuji you might think we're a big fan of Midori Fuji because he's back at number one in his fantastic match, going toe to toe with the Yu Show winning Ozeki Takakesho. Coming at you now. Takakesho. Looking as he usually does, but Midori Fuji looks determined here. Nice charge for Takakesho. Midori Fuji bounced backwards immediately, but he survives on the Tawada. Takakesho slapping him to the side, trying to slap down, pushes him away. Big slap to the head. Midori Fuji gets another slap to the head as they square up against each other, going for another big blow. Midori Fuji trying to dive to the chest, pushing back. Throw for Takakesho. What a beast! What a beast! What a match. Takakesho will be Yokozuna this year. It's coming, dude. What a beast! That was perfect! The Takakesho had his entire moveset laid out for us right in front of our eyes! I hope this video brought you great joy as we look forward to some more of my breakdowns with Kiribayama's Jun Yu Show coming this Saturday and the Banzuke coming out on Monday. 
March is already almost here, and with that comes more fantastic sumo, and possibly the rise of a new Yokozuna. Keep on watching here on twitch.tv slash sumo, or here on my YouTube of the same name, Leo Dickinson Sumo. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.